Hello again, it's the Walter 61 back with another video. I got a couple requests in to do a little tutorial walkthrough on a couple commonly used uh, logic gates. So, I'm doing one. Alright, let's get started. Um, we're just going to cover most of them. Um, probably the T flip flop and the Zor gate down there. We'll go ahead and, and walk through how to build them. The rest of them are pretty self explanatory. So, alright, let's get started with one of the simplest ones you can have the inverter. Now, there's always going to be a design that you have where you need the pistons or your door, whatever you're, you're trying to operate, to be on from the beginning. A lot of piston doors use this. Uh, so, all you need to do is have a redstone torch with redstone leading into whatever you want to be activated, and then redstone running into the back of the block. Activate that redstone, that redstone passes through the block, it turns off this torch, and your piston is retracted. You turn it off piston is extended. The opposite of what happens normally. Get out of there, block. There we go. Simple, right? Right, right. All right, let's move on. What do we want to look at next? Let's head down here. All right. This is a NOR gate. Super simple. Not really that useful in my opinion, but to each their own. If you find a use for it, you find a use for it. Uh, basically, it's very similar to the inverter. Same principle. You've got a redstone torch leading into something that you're going to want to operate, be it a piston, a door, whatever you want to use. And you've got two inputs, two levers. If they're both off, it's on. You turn one on, it turns off. Problem being, if one is turn is flipped the other one doesn't do anything very inconvenient the opposite of this obviously is the or gate which you turn one on turn the other on um, pretty simple useful for I don't know like really basic doors pretty much but not one you're gonna see really that often no, not yet next up. Oh, we're going to go to the AND gate first. That's what we're going to do. The AND gate. Alright. Fairly simple once again. You get a redstone torch with redstone leading into whatever you're trying to power. Piston. Two redstone torches connected by wire here. Redstone leading into two levers. And unless both levers are on, it's not going to do anything. If both of them are both on, it's powered. Little observation right here, right now. Most of these gates actually have very logical names, hence they're called logic gates. Not really, but you know. Uh, an AND gate. You need this and this to be on. Uh, if you put an N in front of it, then it usually does the opposite like your NAND gate over here you get both these turned off right now you turn them on and it's off turn them both off and it turns on the N is for usually neither so neither this one nor this one Simple, right? Right, right. All right. What haven't we covered yet? What haven't we covered? Now oh, we'll get to this one. The RS NOR latch. All right. This one's used in a little bit more complicated of redstone machines. It's uh, basically the basis of any type of memory that you would want to build. Okay. What this does, this circuit is it transfers power and then it remembers that 
power transfer, okay? Sounds complicated? It is a little complicated, okay? You see your piston out there not doing anything, you hit the button, and it turns on, okay? This one and that one swapped. You hit it again, it's not going to do anything because it has remembered that. has a little button right here that activates as a uh, uh, reset. So what you can do with this one, like say, let's grab a door real quick. This one's hard to conceptualize unless you have an idea of, of what, you know. say you have a door, okay, and you want that door to only open, it's almost night time, it's almost night time, you only want the door to be open for a certain amount of time, okay. So what you can do is you can have this set running off of here. And run some repeaters and set them however long you want that delay to be. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure I need to reset that, don't I? There we go. All right, so now you get yourself a door. You got your little circuit here. When you hit this button, it's going to flip the RS NOR latch here, opening the door. The door will stay open until the redstone current makes it through all these repeaters. And then it'll toggle back and reset. So let's take a look. It opens and it automatically closes after a certain delay really cool little thing there a um, lot of complex things you can do with an RS NOR latch uh, lots of complex most complex uh, redstone machines incorporate one if not more of these depending on the level of complexity you're looking at alright next up something you've probably seen in quite a few of my designs the toggle T flip flop the T stands for toggle Basically what it does is it turns a pressure plate or it turns a button into a lever. You hit the button and the power stays on. Power stays off. Same with the pressure plate. Hit it. Stays on. Stays off. Really handy dandy little function there. Not a lot of people like using levers in their designs. They sort of are... Uh, I don't know, they're not aesthetically pleasing. I gotta say, if you and just they stick out, and especially if you're trying to make some sort of you know hidden mechanism, hidden door, or you know, or just something that looks like it blends into your build, you're gonna want something like this. We're gonna throw that together real quick. Big two holes. Put down a redstone torch on either block out any kind of building block because I don't have any on my hotbar. All right. Place block over top of torch and then two like oh, like that making yourself a seven. Take a regular piston facing inward. A regular piston facing that way again. Redstone torch. Redstone torch. And then dust along the top and that is the entire mechanism. Your button has to be run off of this line of redstone up here. So wherever you want your button to go, you just run the redstone from there to wherever you please, placing repeaters to extend it as far as you want it to go. And whatever you want to power, here's the torch blocked directly adjacent to it. Boom. And boom, look at that. Thing of beauty, right? Super simple. Very useful, used in a lot of designs. Love it. All right, we're moving on to our last design down here. This is a Zorgate. One of the more commonly used designs. 
uh, not complicated really, but we'll go ahead and we'll we'll build it together so you can see. A um, lot of problems that people have. Okay, we'll do a real quick little build here. Let's like say this is the entrance to your home. Okay, first off, why did you build it out of stone? That's horrible. But just to make it more convincing, we're going to use an iron door. All right. And you place your lever there. Okay. And this lever doesn't work because the other lever is on. Annoying, right? Well, that's where a Zor gate comes in. A Zor gate lets you use either lever, lever to operate it regardless of the state that the either one's on. So, you got this one on, and it's on. You turn this one on, and it turns off. It doesn't matter which way you flip them. Whatever one you flip next is going to alternate the current. Very, very, very useful. Very, very useful. Um, there's a lot, a lot of designs for this, but like I said, this is one of the more commonly used ones. We're gonna go ahead and throw it together. I mean, it's not that hard to run your inputs to wherever you want them at and your output out here. This is just laid out in the most basic way possible to show you know, how it's built, but all right. All right, first things first, you're going to want to have three blocks like so. This is where your inputs are going to be. Like I said though, if you want, if you're building this for real, you leave those off and just run redstone and this redstone goes to lever A, this one goes to lever B yeah not a big deal okay okay place two torches one there one there and then a little bit of dust right on top then you place a torch here and here block there with a little bit more redstone dust why not alright Place yourself a torch right there on the front. A little bit of redstone right here. A little bit of redstone right there. So it should look like this so far. Fairly simple, right? Right. All right. Then you place yourself a block here and a block here. And I bet you can't guess. Yep. Another torch and another torch. And another lever and another lever. Wherever you're going to power, you run a line right through there. Place yourself a door. Come out this way. Door opens. Door closes. Door opens. Door closes. Super simple. Super useful. And that's it for right now. So those are about, I think there's seven of them, the more useful, common, basic um, redstone circuits, logic gates, uh, most complex machinery built in Minecraft. We'll have a, definitely have a combination of one or more of these, definitely. So um, study up on them, take a look, remember how to build them, and before you know it, you're going to be building yourself some complex, amazing piston door operated computer. What's it? I don't even know. I can't even imagine. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it was nice and simple enough for you. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button down below. If you've got any other logic aids or anything else you want me to take a look at and make a video for, leave a comment. I love reading all the comments. I try to respond to everyone personally. And if you have not subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Click that subscribe button. It costs nothing. It's free. And it feels good. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.